الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولاقب المتقین ولا عدوان الظالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد ولا علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد Supplication, ayyuh al-ahabba To Allah Azza wa Jal alone Supplicating to Him For all of your needs All of your wants Striving your best to obey His, his commandments Subhanahu wa ta'ala That's all obedience to Allah And it's all ibadah as a Prophet Ali after Salatu Wasalam said, a dua or ibadah. Supplication is worship. And that a beautiful supplication of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the supplication which acknowledges our many shortcomings, our sins, our mistakes. And it is seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Humbling oneself before Allah azza wa jal. Begging his forgiveness and his favor. As it all comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is his subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the one who forgives. And by acknowledging your mistakes to your Lord, while at the same time seeking His forgiveness and favor, is indeed a great act of ibadah, and it's something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us. And that's why the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, or the dua that's mentioned in a hadith, or a hadith of the Messenger of Allah والسلام, where he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or it's mentioned in a ayah in fact La ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al that there is no God except you. And verily, I was one of the volimeen. I was one of the sinners. Because when you sin, you oppress yourself. That's a way in which we oppress ourselves when we sin. And in fact, you can feel that voom. That when you are in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know you're doing a wrong sin, a sinful act. You feel that you've oppressed yourself. That's what the believer feels. That's what the person who has some iman, they feel that. But the person who is just a wicked facet, or a disbeliever, they don't feel anything. It's as if they're just uh, pushing, brushing aside um, a fly or something. They don't feel anything. But the believer feels the shame after doing something and acknowledges their sinfulness before their rub and that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks for from us that we don't persist in transgression but we acknowledge our mistakes and come back to him subhanahu wa ta'ala la ilaha illa ant subhanaka inni kuntu min al there is no god worthy of worship except you and verily I was one of the Oppressors or wicked transgressors. 
and then supplicate whatever you want after that asking your Lord for whatever you need seeking his forgiveness his grace mercy and favor and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of those things from him subhanahu wa ta'ala and may he subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and grant us guidance and grant us success in this life as well as the hereafter wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam